Hi my dear Flustube friends, this is Needle Ninja, welcome to my channel and thank you all my dear subscribers for waiting this long. I know it's been almost like 5 months from the time I made the last video, so I'm trying to get back to <laughs> the Flustube world just step by step because I, I think I already forgot how I did that. So, but anyway, <laughs> I will try my best and hope fingers crossed that this one will make it to that platform so yeah so just let's have a fun stitchy time together in this video i will show you how i switch between two stitching methods one is a snake method my usual one and one is something that calls a typewriter method so Hope everything goes well and yeah let's have a fun okay so first of all let me tell you something about this pattern this is heaven and earth design a project called stocking faithful friends and the artwork is done by Donna Gelsinger and as you may see the finished size of this uh, Christmas stocking is 213 by 324 stitches wide and it contains 89 colors. I'm using a DMC flosses for this project. So I have my, I started this project in 2019. In the that time, I still didn't have a pattern keeper and I organized my flosses differently than I do now. I have them all on my uh, floss organizers and I didn't even write the numbers of the colors. I just put the symbols in there. So I have two of my <laughs> floss tube organizer and in that time I divided these with the symbols like letters and numbers and something round symbols as you can see on this green one and this purple one is just the lines and like a geometrical things so yeah I yeah I will I'm sure I will never do this again but well this is the only one where I'm having well different kind of experience with my flosses so anyway on this project i tried all the mm, ways of stitching possible i start with i think i start with the cross country then i was doing the diagonal parking uh, 10 by 10 block then 20 by 10 20 uh, really everything i could find so this is really chaotic one but i will show you my back and you can see that there is a lot of different types of stitching so let me show it to you so can you see so now we are in this area where it's I'm trying this typewriter method all of these uh, where you can see the lines are covered with actual stitches that's a snake method and everything even more crazy than that I don't know what is it so you can see here is kind of like I don't know something something I challenge but I it didn't stick with me so yeah this is my back anyway once I finish this stocking I'm sure it will be covered with a, a backing and a, another fabric so it will not the back the chaotic back will not bother me Okay, so that's about the project, I think, and let's go to uh, actual stitching, or actually, uh, let me show you how I'm trying to change from my snake method to the typewriter method. I'm sure most of you are uh, uh, know about the typewriter method, but, well, I didn't know, I saw, I just, like, I think one one week ago, I saw a stitching mommy doing some project and explaining that method and because she's stitching in the hands and um, well I I'm not that brave I'm using my uh, on this pattern I'm using uh, my hoop on other patterns I'm using my Q snaps but 
because typewriter method is actually basically I will not try to get into the details I will put the link on her video so please go there and check how she explained it but it's basically just using the the highest or how do you say um, just one color start with one color and let that color lead you everywhere it goes and just finish it finish that one thread till the end so you don't have this kind of park threads but because i last when i was working on this i was using the snake method where i park my threads so in order to do the same things as a stitchy mommy did or as um, similar as she did I need to get rid of these uh, park threads so first what I will do okay again sorry I didn't know if I will like the typewriter method so I'm keeping this this part these 20 stitches uh, in a row this part I'm keeping the thread park for my uh, well comfortable snake method snake method if you don't know what is it it's basically stitching a 20 stitches in a row going from the left to right then other the, the next row will be from right to left and just going in the snake motion i will put the link below and you can check if you're interested how i do that so let's ignore this part this one this will be for later or when i get tired of the typewriter method so first of all let me get rid of these how many we have one two three four five six park threads and then i can do actually the the typewriter method so as you can see here this is my uh, progress on this pattern so okay let's go to well let's find the these park threads and I will start with this one so I think it's this thread here color number 739 and let's see there is 41 stitches so what I will do I will just use this uh, this floss till it's possible for me to use it so let's see in a pattern keeper where it leads me so I will do all those stitches ignoring this area because this is the and there is actually part thread there as you can see so I will ignore those 20 stitches and I will go this way when it goes it goes kind of far but yeah let's see how far we can go so let me zoom in and let's start so this is not actually the this is just me trying to finish these park threads so let's go for it one and maybe we can get some zeros together because i'm looking and it's it has 41 stitches of this color so yeah, and uh, as I watch Stitchy Mommy doing that, she end her threads on the back of her, the, her fabric. But because I don't like to flip my hoop, that's why. Okay, let's come into this area. And you can see that there are uh, cut threads here. So that's how I'm ending my threads. I just pull it, pull the thread under and cut it like i don't know five four millimeters long and there comes my new stitchy body i have to tell you about this one i'm sure you all know but for me this is a new and actually i don't remember how it calls that's why i have <laughs> i cut it so this is my snack nabbit yes i cannot remember this word this is crazy snack nabbit okay so my new stitchy body which I use when I need to push the ended threads under and I actually cannot get this guy in here in Japan they don't sell it so I'm I was fortunate enough 
that I actually and now I lost the track of where I am because well talking and doing a lot of things I think okay let's mark I did this this and I did I this too yes they are done okay so and where was I oh and I was fortunate enough the last time when I was in uh, America I went to Michael's and I bought everything I couldn't recognize for in a stitching section so in that time I didn't know what I'm buying and but yeah I buy the what is it snack nabbit <clears throat> and last time I was like somebody in a comment mentioned this guy and I didn't know what 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 it meant so I went on a in a Google search and I saw it then I asked for it in a local store well of course they they don't even know what what it is so no luck there and I was like searching in a net and the shipping cost is like <laughs> it's crazy I can buy whole project with that money so yeah I was like just sticking my normal needle and fixing the ended threads and then I was like okay well maybe if I go to look inside my you know <laughs> like everything box everything that I don't use but I, I will not throw and that that it was the snack nabbit and i was like well that was christmas for me amazing so i hope i will not lose him lose it so it stuck to my stand okay where we are we are here so going Finish and not finished another block of stitches. Let me mark. Okay, these are done. And let's go for those in uh, this block. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I see there is a sticking see this one so let's use him yay let's use you okay i'm still not good at it but yeah it's lovely lovely unbelievable great i'm sure i can do the same things with the thread and the needle but well i have him i have him so why not use him Okay, and how about we finish this thread because it's already short and 13 more stitches left. Let's see where they are. Well, it's kind of long, not so much long, but ah, yeah, let's do him. Let's do that here. Oh, this is really short. So one here. Can we go for more? Let's try this one. So I don't actually care. As I said a little while ago, how my bag looks. Well, I, I care a little, but... Mm. Okay, and I think that's it for this one. So let's park, not park. Let's end him like about 15, 14 stitches under. So, done with this one, great, 11 stitches left, and let's go back to another, the highest one, which is this one. Great, let's see, 10 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, where is the last one? Oh, it's there, okay, let's do that. Three 
door number 676. Okay. And why I'm getting rid of this uh, um, park threats? Basically, I don't like to, you know, like search under those spark threads and like flipping it and like you know pushing it away so I would like to have a clear and clean canvas so I can see clearly and I can do it similarly similarly how do you say that as a stitchy mommy did so here somewhere in the middle dark colors is it one two this one okay this one so let's mark one more left okay so it's this one right in my snake part uh, and this is what I don't like to do, you know, I don't to get rid of, oh, but I will just park him, I think. It's five stitches under, one, two, three, four, five, it's here, so yeah. I'll just park you so we don't have zero yet, but, okay, parked. I know, let me end it. Let me end it so we have zero together. There you go. Yay! And da, 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 zero. Done with this color. I love this. Great. Okay. No more touching this part, hopefully. So let's get back. Another one. Which one is. Well, let's do this part. So it's color number 8 to 231 stitches. Let's see where it will take us so it's here hopefully nothing in this oh there is ignore it and let's do this way here and here okay let's see how and where it takes us so there will be we cannot finish it to zero but anyway here well where is the next one hmm looks like there are some mistakes so looks like but there is okay there is mistake okay there should be four holes free there is not but it's in a white area so it looks like this stitch is already stitched yeah so I'm going to do this here so there should be two in a row well I don't think it will be it will make much difference because mm -hmm. doesn't matter doesn't matter all the white colors no big mistake I think ignoring that one continuing with the happy thoughts forgetting that we made a mistake just going with a float here one under there's another one three in a row under and one between great so let's mark these okay great so move the pattern keep a little bit more and where should I go I will down here 
then up again and I think that's better one two three three from the bottom okay let's ignore that one and let's come up in oh oh yeah don't panic. Hmm. One, two. The four stitches, one, two, three. That's correct, but this one is not correct. Okay, there's a mistake. Hmm. So, this is the correct one. But as you see, this stitch is marked, but it's not done yet. So I will, in this case, I will clear him. Okay, you're not done yet. Oh, there's a mistake under oh, again. So this is kind of messed up area. Let's not panic. And let's mark what we did. So there's another one stitch here. See? That one, that guy shouldn't be there. Mistake! But looks like those are different colors, so I'll be I'll be careful around this area. I cannot erase him because he's not marked, so okay. Never mind, never mind continue let's deal with the problem when it's actually a problem so here to nothing and two more how about we continue or no there is no more clothes here so again I will end my thread here. Okay. Third one is done. Great. Let's go for uh, this guy. Which is... Okay. Oh, five stitches. Really? Let's see. Let's see where it is. Hmm. Oh, there. And he's parked. So, okay. We don't worry about that one cannot get zero right after but anyway yay this is I like this one there is so small count of stitches left stitched area so I will pull my thread somewhere in here where hopefully it will be covered great and one left right great and the last two so let's find them mm -hmm. oh three what a count okay <laughs> nowhere near okay another time and just snip great and the last one last one sticking in here what is it where are you here 53 stitches okay let's see where we will go there, there, there. Okay, let's do them. This, this is already short floss, so cannot go far. And let's do this one, and that's it, I think. 
with this thread mark just let have a look mm. here now let's let's finish it come here and finish so yay and we done it we done it so there are no more park threads except this one but we're ignoring this one so i actually started to do typewriter i think from this part and i get rid of all the park threads and these were the last so this is where it got me kind of far i went and this was fun so let's go find the highest how do you say top highest one from the left we will go let's see this 3858 the two lines this is this one a thousand something stitches so long way to go and so i'm wondering how many of you are stitching with this method it's kind of like a cross country bit but it's not totally cross country and for a smaller project especially like this it's i think it's a great way of stitching With this pattern, it's really very detailed and very, mm, how do you say, so many, what is it, confetti? I thought I will have a more problem to stitching with this method on it, but, and, I've, and I found that really snake method is for me more, most organized one and because I'm always stitching the new row, kind of, for me, it's really comfortable way, but yeah, well, I don't hate this one. I think I will not like it when there are more and more stitches done, but now, for now, it's still fun. So I'm trying to stitch stay in only this area don't go to the left side because I don't want to you know always move my pattern keeper and well everything okay so let's mark this As you may see, there is a park thread somewhere in here, so no, this is the one, right? Yeah, so I will ignore that part. Oh, what did I do? What, what happened? What just happened? So I will go, I think I will move my thread and I will stitch this part. So I just pull my thread like I think 20 stitches under, but I'm sure it will be covered with another stitches on my back. So Okay, in this area, the needle is a little bit getting harder, difficult to push the needle. No, still okay. Not so much problems, but it will not get easy, I think. Okay, let's mark. I've realized that I need to mark with this method more often than I'm usually do because I will lost the track so let's come here and this is one two three so done with these 
this. How about we go up in here? Oh, this is the, the trouble, the mistake area, so I have to be careful. This is okay. One, two, and three. Second row, one, two, three, four. Mark. Should we go on the side or down? Let's go to the side. So, run nothing in here. Four stitches. So, for you who didn't know what is typewriter method, this is it. This is, I hope I get it right. And, yeah. This is how it's supposed to work, I think. Using your thread till the, till possible. I think this will be it for this guy. Mm, yeah, let's finish him. And let's mark what we did. Great. Shall we do one more together? Oh, so how about we do this? Oh, no, there are... No, I thought I would start with this one but let him stay there no what should i do because there are stitches in here yeah let me use him let's go for it so there will be nothing more hanging without you know this is already in a cute how do you say what is this hmm. well you know what i mean so let's go with this guy so as you may see this is this will be another christmas without without oh hi buddy what, what's your name what is it snack nap it is there is there some easier name for for this one or do I have to struggle always? So what, what, what where was I? Ah, yeah. So another Christmas without a Christmas stocking. Well, it's already fourth year. <laughs> uh, hopefully someday. Hopefully some Christmas. I don't have a fireplace to hang in. Hang it. Hang it, hang it on so anyway but just I will hang it somewhere I'm not uh, well I don't know the tradition how you guys in America like hang your stockings do you put something in them or is it just for a decoration or I don't know how the, how how it how does it work? It looks beautiful anyway, but is it actually? Do you put some I don't know some sweets or candies into it for kids? So please let me know. Okay, let's mark. Shall we go next? Where we go to here? Let's 
let's go to this block so it's three under one two three i'll be gentle about around this one because well it there's not enough stitches yet so maybe not so ah, aggressive but it already hide well daijubu <laughs> why am i using japanese uh, definitely it will be okay so five of these three So yeah, thank you everybody for waiting. It's been really five months from the time I uploaded my last video. It was still before my uh, summer vacation, which I promised you that I will tell you everything about it. But well, thankfully nothing, nothing, mm, nothing wrong is going on in my life i'm just extremely busy and after having like 50 something wonderful extremely wonderful uh, vacation days i was just trying to catch up with everything and well extreme busy time for me so that's the what I have to that what cost no how do you say that is what the 50 how, the many how, how do you say holiday days cost me my <laughs> after the vacation the, uh, oh, that was everyone and everything was all around me all yeah I was really and and I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't use my English not my English I didn't use English for that long period of time so I'm sorry I, I don't think it will get better soon but I'm trying no this one I'm trying so hope you understand what I'm saying I'm not saying a big things so or anything much important so just having a fun stitchy time and saying the words that are in my head while I'm stitching but most most of you know that <laughs> so hope it doesn't bother you and hope all of you are well and I'm sorry if I didn't reply uh, for your comments I was I don't think I did even check them but I will today if I if this video may if I can edit it and if I can finish it and upload it I will definitely get back to my natal ninja world and because I want to do a V parade 2022 oh what's going on That's why I need to get back and to try to remember uh, why why it's frogging. Okay, now it's good. So three and that's it. Three, four. Okay, let's make four. That's the last last one. So yeah, I'm definitely going to. I just want to document it for myself. The Vip Parade 2022. And I have after the end of the December 
I will have like a few days holidays, so I'm looking forward to stitch and looking forward to document everything there is. So hope you would like it and hope you like my <laughs> comeback, which was, well, I don't know if it was interesting or what, but I tried. So this is how I start to do something new and challenging a new type of method. Please let me know if you like it or not, or if you're using this kind of stitching and if there are any advices you can give me. I'm really looking forward to hear from you. And hopefully I will be back soon with uh, sti another stitch with me or my 2022 V parade. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, love to see your comments and yeah, see you soon. Bye.